meeting for Tuesday, March 17th, 2015 to order. And at this time, I'd like to lead everyone in the invocation. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Commissioner Leitner? Here. Commissioner Walls? Here. Commissioner Rice? Here. Commissioner Duckham? Here. Commissioner Alexander? Present. Commissioner Mahoney? Present. Commissioner Palachek? Commissioner Elwell? Here. Chairman Chatwell? Here. Entertain a motion for approval of the agenda as presented? Motion by Commissioner Duckham, supported by Commissioner Rice. Any corrections, deletions, or additions? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Those opposed? Duly carried. We have no awards and recognition. Is there any written communications or petitions to be presented to the clerk this evening? Seeing, nor, seeing none. We have no special orders nor public hearings. We've arrived at the first opportunity for public comment. The guidelines, each individual will please state their name. They have five minutes to address the board. You may only address the board. The board wants, un wants under public comment. The opportunity may not yield your time to others, and board members will not debate nor answer questions at this time. Public comment first round, please. Peter Bormuth. First, I'd like to wish everyone a happy St. Patrick's Day. I am, of course, for the snakes, but um, I've always enjoyed this old-time pagan festival that the Irish put on for their Christian saint. Um, what I'd like to address today is not specifically um, commissioner business, but uh, I'd like to address this road proposal. Um, at least four of the commissioners were here um, the other day when Senator Shirky and the Department uh, of Transportation head gave a presentation. And I asked some questions about why the current funding was insufficient. Um, they get $876 million from the motor vehicle registration tax. They get $20 million from the motor carrier fuel tax. They get $106 million from the diesel fuel tax. And they get $818 million from the gas tax. Plus they get federal funding of I think $1.2 billion. Comes to a total of, you know, um, $3 billion we have. And the Department of Transportation had director said that it was insufficient because the revenues coming in from the gas tax had declined due to increasing fuel efficiency of vehicles and due to a change in our driving habits where when gas was four dollars people started to drive less. If you look at the funding mechanism they've provided in this proposal that's going to be on the May ballot, they are basically looking at an increase in motor vehicle registration taxes which hurts everyone, particularly old people and young people, you know, on fixed incomes or, you know, just working and just getting started in life. And a gas tax, which means they have adopted the same funding mechanism that failed them. There are going to be deficits. There are going to be shortfalls because fuel economy is going to continue to increase. I'm sure you know that the federal fuel economy rules, I think it's slated for 2025 to be 56 miles a gallon. What's going to happen then? We're going to have no money to fix our roads. They're going to have to keep increasing this gas tax and they're going to have to 
keep increasing our registration fees. People are not going to want to come to Michigan and live if we have the highest gas costs and the highest registration fees in the country. I'd like to just urge all of you and all the citizens who may be listening to vote against this proposal. Thank you. Any other public comment? Any other public comment? My name's Kathleen Choate. I wanted to come to the meeting tonight because I was hired into the Jackson County Road Commission on April 31st of last year. Um, uh, when I hired in, they asked me to um, they told me if I went ahead and went through ABC Trucking Company and got my CDLA that I would um, have an opportunity to come to work full time with them. Um, I did so. I took a week unpaid. I went through ABC Trucking uh, classes. I got my CDLA. Um, I stood side by side and did work uh, shoulder to shoulder with all the men um, at the Jackson County Road Commission. Um, I hauled gravel, um, I hauled rollers, um, I shoveled large amounts of asphalt, uh, I did a lot with Michigan paving in and out, getting asphalt, and um, about two weeks before I was laid off October 2nd, Greg Ives had called me into his office and he told me he didn't think, he thought that plowing snow was too large of a responsibility for women. I wanted to come here today because the last five months have been quite difficult. Um, I wanted to come and clarify what I stand for and what I want um, and in hopes that you might be able to um, help me. Um, it's the millennium. Equal unemployment, you know, equal opportunity employment, it's here. Um, Jackson County is the only county, surrounding county, that doesn't have a woman. Um, I'm asking for your help. I would like my job back. I would like the job back that I was wrongfully discharged from. Thank you. Any other public comment? Any other public comment? Public comment is now closed. I would like to entertain a formal motion in accordance with MCL 15.268, a personnel matter of le and legal opinion, to be discussed. I need, need a motion, folks. We have a motion in support. Madam Clerk, could you call the roll, please? Commissioner Leitner? Yes. Commissioner Walls? Yes. Commissioner Rice? Yes. Commissioner Duckham? Yes. Commissioner Alexander? Yes. Commissioner Mahoney? Yes. Commissioner Elwell? Yes. Chairman Chatwell? Yes. Upon completion of the closed session, we will be returning to continue with our agenda. We will adjourn. Alexander, any questions or comments to the motion? All in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Duly carried. Commissioner Alexander, you have a motion to put before the Board of Commissioners? I do, Mr. Chair. I'd like to make a motion to approve the recommendation made by legal counsel. I have a motion by Commissioner Alexander, support from Commissioner Leitner. Any questions to the motion? Seeing nor hearing none, Madam Clerk, could you post the vote?
Commissioner Leitner? Yes. Commissioner Walls? Yes. Commissioner Rice? Yes. Commissioner Duckham? Yes. Commissioner Alexander? Yes. Commissioner Mahoney? Yes. Commissioner Alwa? Yes. Chairman Chatwell? Yes. Any special committee meetings to be called by the chairs of those committees? Hearing none, approval of minutes of the February 17th, 2015 Board of Commissioners meeting. We have a motion in support. Any corrections or deletions? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Those opposed, duly carried. We've arrived at the consent agenda. Motion for the consent agenda, please. So moved. moved by Commissioner Alexander, supported by Commissioner Leitner. Commissioner Elwell. I'd like to pull item 10B. That is 10 Benjamin. Yes, sir. We will be moving that to affairs and agencies to become item 14B. Any other items to be bold from the consent agenda? Seeing or hearing none, Madam Clerk, could you post the vote? Okay. But it's not appearing here. Technical difficulties for some reason. I refreshed. Ah, there it is. Ta da! And Adam. Yeah, Adam, too. There's a double. Could please, okay. please bless the computers. Passed? Yep. Passed. We've now arrived at standing committees. First standing committee is Affairs and Agencies, chaired by Commissioner David Elwell. Commissioner Elwell. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We've got a number of appointments tonight. The first are three seats on the Brownfield Redevelopment Authority. The first is the County Commissioner seat with the recommendation being Chairman Chatwell. Any, any other commissioners want to serve? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Those opposed, duly carried. Commissioner Elwell. Second seat is a public member. The committee's recommendation is Rodney Melling. Support. Any nominations from the floor? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed, duly carried. Third Commissioner Elwell. is another public member. The recommendation is Ted Hillary. Any nominations from the floor? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Those opposed, duly carried. Commissioner Elwell. Economic Development Corporation, two seats, public members. The first recommendation is Robert Simmons. Any nominations from the floor? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Those opposed, duly carried. Second public seat is recommendation of Phil Rosinski. Any nominations from the floor? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Dave? Three Lifeways consumer seats. First recommendation, Melissa Callison. Any nominations from the floor? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Mr. Second, Elwell? Second seat, the recommendation is Jeffrey Peterson. Any nominations from the floor? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Duly carried. Third consumer seat on the Lifeways Board, the recommendation is Edward Woods. Any nominations from the floor? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? 
Duly carried. Commissioner Elwell. Veterans Affairs, the designated seat is a Persian Gulf veteran, and the recommendation is Earl W. Smith. Any nominations from the floor? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Duly carried. Commissioner Elwell. Jury board, one public member. The recommendation is Wayne Prentice. Any nominations from the floor? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Duly carried. Lastly, the Community Corrections Board, one district court representative. The committee recommendation is Tiffany Scott. This is, can't be, it has to be this designation, doesn't it? It does not be, uh, have to be, I'm sorry. Uh, the recommendation from the Community Corrections Advisory Board was Tiffany Scott. It is a district court representative designated, but not specifically uh, picked except by us. Any other nominations? Seeing or hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Those opposed? Commissioner Elwell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's it for appointments. And next up, I had asked the issue of the contract for the tower be pulled. Uh, reason being that when we talked about it in committee, we did not have the contract at the time. We agreed to forward it with the belief that the contract itself would be here before the board meeting. It's not. I'm a little uncomfortable, just as one commissioner, approving a contract that we have not read. Uh, I talked briefly with the administrator about it. He's pointed it out that it was only a a minimal monthly amount, I think $75. I'm still a little uncomfortable with that, but uh, I wanted to at least discuss it and see what the board thought. I, I think there might be a su suggestion I can make, but which would be to authorize the chair to sign it after it has been reviewed by the chair of the administrator's office and our council, which is normal, and if the contract could also be forwarded to the full board of commissioners uh, individually to let them look at it before you sign it and if we have issues we can let it be known then I would like to ask the administrator what the harm would be if we postpone this decision to our April study session mr. chairman if I can make one more comment first too I I do want to note the fact that I got a heads up from the undersheriff this morning that uh, the contract wasn't done and I'd also mentioned to the administrator the same thing that we potentially could approve it at a study session uh, if need be, but I don't know what I didn't get a chance to ask them what time frame they were on. So, thank you. It, is there a monthly truth be truth be delay? Told I do not know. Uh, Adam, do you know? Did Chris say anything? Not really. Other than it's just the we know it's it's a known weak spot in the county communication. So the sooner the we can get something there, the better. But well, my only. My only thought is that if it's not <clears throat> if it's not timely, as in it needs to be done before March 31st, that I would ask the commission then to postpone until the study session, where we all can actually see the document and and uh, understand what we're doing here. I think that would be the only thing appropriate. Is is there anyone else not comfortable with that? I would postpone it till the April study session and let them get the contract to us. If it is a timely issue, then follow Dave's recommendation, let the chair, vice chair review it, and attorney, and then sign it. So, so you're recommending both? I'm putting out dis for discussion both. Okay. I'd like to know what harm there is in waiting. If there's no harm, no foul, then let's wait. wait. Correct. Just one final comment yes, for me sir. is that I just... I understand it's not much, 75 bucks a month, but I just think it's a bad habit for us to get into right. to approve a contract that we haven't really read. That's what our one of our few obligations is here as commissioners. So, Commissioner Rice. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, I certainly concur with uh, Commissioner Elwell. I, um, we should have had that contract before us right now, um, quite frankly. Um, the only question I have, though, is based on what Adam said, is this a potential safety problem if we wait another two, three weeks or so? I know it's, I, obviously it's been there for quite a while now. I just wonder going forward, um, is there that possibility? Deputy Administrator? Well, uh, Commissioner Elwell may be in a, a position to better answer this. He's closer to that area, but uh, and that expertise, but um, like I said, it is a known weak spot 
in the communication system. They've identified a suitable place and uh, they want to proceed post haste. Let's do this. Dave, are you comfortable with making what you asked the administration to do as a motion? Yeah, I'll, I'll reluctantly make that motion that, uh, with another caveat, that the chair be authorized to sign the contract after it is written, reviewed by the chair, the administrator's office, and legal counsel, and copies of uh, what is believed to be the final product forwarded to the commissioners, and if it's necessary to move before our April study session. Okay. My preference would be, of course, ad living here, that we wait until after the study session to look at it and review it. But if need be to move before that, I support doing it. Uh, I suppose this would work. So that's the motion. Is the administration comfortable with that motion? Because I have a motion in support. I, I, I am. I would just uh, add that the contract's with consumer. It's their contract. We're waiting on their attorneys to okay. give it to us. If it was up to us, we would have drafted it. It's a simple contract for $75. But you're talking with a, a very large company. There's lots of attorneys. And it may not very well get here until April. Oh, so. We also don't know the timeline that they're on. And because if I understood it right, I think they're going to be moving some equipment off the Springport Tower, if I'm remembering things correctly. Yeah, I, I would think that they w Well, again, we don't know the timeline on that, but thanks. We have a motion, and we have as much leeway as the commission is willing to give the administration in handling this. So I think we're appropriate. Any further questions from commissioners? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? To the carried? Commissioner Allo. That's all I have to report, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you very much. Human Services Standing Committee, chaired by Commissioner Alexander. Commissioner Alexander? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Human Services has no business be to bring before the board. Standing Committee Personnel and Finance, chaired by Vice Chairman Philip Duckham. Philip Duckham? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, personnel Finance has no business to conduct tonight. Thank you. Any unfinished business to be brought up by the Commission? Seeing nor hearing none, any new business? Seeing nor hearing none, we've arrived at the second opportunity for public comment. You have three minutes and you may not yield your time, nor, nor may questions be answered nor debate with the Board. If you have public comment, please Seeing no public comment, Commissioner comments. Commissioner Leitner. We will be announcing a comedian next Monday, the 23rd, to, that's going to be um, at the fair this year. It'll be uh, Tuesday night, that Tuesday night, which is, I, I don't know the date, all of a sudden I forgot it, but tickets will go on sale on the 28th, so be listening for a big announcement on Monday the 23rd. And when is Operation Red? Project Red is April 20, or April, let me look here, 14th? I don't know, let me look. No. It's 21st, yep, 8 o'clock. Still willing to accept uh, help? Yes, we are. And actually, I, um, oh, I, may, I may have only sent an email to Julie because she asked about it. But the contact for that is um, Becky Mead. She's, ask, she's kind of helping do the volunteers. She's part of the Farm Bureau group that's putting it on. Um, so contact me, and I will forward you her email if you're interested in volunteering that day. Thank you. Any other commissioner comments? Seeing or hearing none, we are adjourned.